It's Sunday, October 12, 2025. Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This is what I want to cover in this vi video in depth. We have two areas out here in the tropical Atlantic. This one could become Lorenzo. This one could become Melissa. What could become Melissa, that looks to be a potential threat as we go down the road. So I want to cover that. Several areas we are watching in this video. And thank you for subscribing so you can get updates on these as the very active October goes on. So if I need to put it out in a additional update, you'll get it first. So again, welcome to all the uh, new subscribers. Now, watching for some areas of rain, I'll cover this system in the northeast of the United States and the mid-Atlantic. Again, thank you for your patience. Watching this Mexico, southwest uh, portions of the United States for the potential of flooding. We will cover that as well. And then we swing through here for us in the Caribbean. We've had some heavy rain overnight. Been going back and forth with you in the comments section, Jamaica, for example, and the Cayman Islands. We've had these pockets of rain back through Cuba. Some of this is on the heavy side. Of course, Central America, more heavier rain. Haiti and the Dominican Republic, spotty showers and storms. Quick look at some of the additional rain totals over the next three days as we swing back through Jamaica. Pick your spot. You see a lot of these pinks showing up, which will be about 75 millimeters of rain, but we'll keep an eye on this white shading. This is a computer model, so this is really heavy stuff, but this could very well be right on top of us. Uh, being mindful of areas of flooding, giving you the heads up in Jamaica as we go over the next few days. Same thing in anywhere from uh, Cayman Brac, Little Cayman, back through uh, Grand Cayman, especially as we work our way from uh, Little Cayman uh, over toward Cayman Brac, where we could get some higher totals of 100 millimeters of rain or even higher in some spots. It's going to stay active. So giving you the heads up, wanted to do that uh, first for some areas that haven't got a whole lot of rain. We're starting to get a lot more of that. Now, let's swing out here as promised. Here we are, Antigua, Barbuda, Dominica, Barbados, uh, back through Trinidad. Here's the first tropical disturbance. I do believe this will get a name, but this one, this first one, is going to spin its way up to the north, right? So this one, where we like it over water, it will stay over water. This second one, this is the one that may sne uh, sneak across. Now, some of the models are developing it before it gets in the Caribbean. Others are waiting for it to kind of work its way through the Caribbean and then developing it later. But point being, all of the models and what I'm seeing in the environment, so I don't just look at the models, are showing this as a potential threat down the road. Exactly where, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how strong it gets and all of that sort of thing. Uh, but again, that's why I do this channel. So I'll be able to give you the very latest information. And you can see here, here's a look at the uh, European model as we just kind of go out in time. Uh, now, there's a lot going on here. L let me take you out. It's showing this first tropical wave that I mentioned that should get a name. The next name on the list is Lorenzo. That one will be making a curve, but here's the other one that's coming off. A lot of moisture right now near the coast of Africa, and this new tropical wave will work off. And as we go into next week, lots of time to watch it. It is so far out there, but you can see the European model has this kind of moving due west. While everything has been hooking this season, for the most part, this one has a chance to be a little bit more toward the west. What it'll be at this point, not sure. This is by the time we get into uh, next weekend and early next week week. So we're looking at a week from now, but it is showing something in through here. Could just be rain. We'll see. Uh, so some of the models developing it here as it works into the Eastern Caribbean, but others kind of wait a little bit longer for it to develop. But either way, as this continues to work across, that is going to be an area we are going to be watching closely. Now this map also a little, a little bit crazy, but I like to give you all the information I have. So here we are in the Caribbean, the Gulf. Now as we swing back through the Atlantic, you see all these uh, blobs in through here. This spot here, this is that first area that's going to develop and take the uh, hook, but that new area coming off, it's right in through here, and you can see how this is more of a westerly route, where the European model shows uh, about a 50 to 70 percent chance of it developing into a tropical depression. That's a step below a tropical storm uh, as we swing over the next uh, 10 days, and then eventually uh, trying to develop it uh, further once it works its way uh, into the Caribbean. And a lot of the models, the uh, German model, the ICOM model, some of the AI models, are showing a similar thing. They're all seeing this as far as what happens with it. That's a wait and see, uh, again, as we know, uh, but that is definitely a spot to watch. So let me show you that. We'll get back to the surge of moisture. We'll cover the Northeast, the Southwest, parts of Mexico, Central America in just a second. So hang with me. But here's that first area. So here we are in the Eastern Caribbean, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, British and U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Kitts and Nevis. The first area should make a turn, may or may not develop. Most likely, it looks like it will try to develop into Lorenzo. These 
these fronts up here, this one up here kind of helps steer this in. High pressure is not dominant, right? That's the blocker, acts like a fence. It looks like that first area will lift up to the north, but that second area back behind it, that's what we'll be tracking. You can see here as we get into the next weekend, showing this area sitting out here. Here are the fronts up to the north. However, with that said, this new area may sneak underneath it. And you can see by the time we get into early next week, uh, the American model, this is the American model. I just showed you the European model by early next week. Almost the same thing, something near or approaching the Eastern Caribbean. This model has it not as a tropical storm, not as a hurricane. Always keeping things in perspective, but it is picking up on it, showing some additional rain that will move in down the road once it gets into the Caribbean. Uh, it does eventually show some development like the other models are showing makes sense uh, because the water temperatures are so very warm. We've been talking about that. This time of year, we need to watch out for the fronts up to the north. They could grab something in the Caribbean, lifting into the Gulf and up to the north, or if anything just slides into the Caribbean with those water temperatures, it could develop. So that is one we will be watching step-by-step step in the upcoming videos. And I mentioned the names on the list. Uh, Lorenzo is the next one, Melissa after that. So we'll see kind of which areas I uh, get names next, but those are the next two names on the list that we will be watching. Now let's go here and then we'll bounce around trying to cover uh, everyone. Here's that moisture surge. That's why I was highlighting the rain, Cayman Islands and Jamaica, but also parts of the Bahamas. I've been mentioning this, Cuba, even Haiti and the uh, DR for some additional rain. Heavy parts of central and eastern Cuba, northern and central Bahamas, spotty elsewhere, and still the pockets of flooding. It has been historically bad. Parts of Guatemala, El Salvador. We've been talking about this uh, for weeks. Scattered areas of rain heavy, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. There's that surge of moisture, additional flooding Nicaragua. And you see that stream of moisture, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica tomorrow. It's going to stay active, monitoring the downpours, the rivers. There will be a mudslide threat out of this. Uh, watching that, especially as we swing back toward Jamaica. And of course, as we get back through parts of Central America, still some of the rain here. This is Tuesday. And then of course, as we get deeper into next week, we'll be watching what's happening with those two areas out there in the tropics. All right, swinging up to the north now. Here's the Atlantic region of Canada, of the Maritimes, as we swing back toward New England and the Mid Atlantic. As expected, the system, the heavy rain now that's going to be pulling in throughout the day. Cape Cod, the islands, back through especially southern New England, Mid Atlantic, that strong onshore flow and still some rain in both North and South Carolina. This area here, not a named system, will weaken, but additional rain still tomorrow into Tuesday. And the issue with this is, will just be that pounding surf uh, that we're going to see. And then Bermuda will get some of that moisture that will also be nearby as we go throughout the week ahead. But you see the winds here, a persistent flow of some of the gust along the coast, Cape Cod and the islands, back toward about uh, Cape Hatteras, uh, Kitty Hawk, you get over toward Duck. Uh, that includes the Tidewater area. You get back toward uh, anywhere from Salisbury but more so over to the coast as you work your way toward Ocean City, watching a Stone Harbor uh, swinging up to the north as well. Cape May, again, very, very strong winds of about gust of about 50. Some of the gusts could be higher than that. And even though the system weakens tomorrow, watching parts of southern New England, even as we get toward the coast of Maine, the onshore flow continues, and we still have a bit of that as well as we work our way into Tuesday. That's why uh, high levels of beach erosion, the coastal flooding as advertised, as we've been talking about for for about a week now. And then the fresh water coming out of the uh, sky, uh, we're talking about some of the totals. You look at uh, Cape Cod and the islands, there could be some totals of four to six inches of rain today into tomorrow, even lasting into uh, Tuesday. Heaviest stuff, uh, trying to stay offshore. Bermuda, we're gonna see some uh, rain uh, that could top about uh, four inches or 100 millimeters of rain as we go just over the next three days. So here's the system broadening out the picture. Here's Bermuda. There's that strong onshore flow. There's the additional moisture Moisture. We have been tracking and monitoring Bermuda that has been either getting systems or in between systems all uh, day, all season long, watching over toward Manitoba, back toward Winnipeg, another system creeping in. Here's that flash flood threat right through here and a new system working into the Pacific Northwest, kind of diving down toward the west coast of the U.S., but monitoring that flash flood threat. Uh, meanwhile, the Atlantic region of Canada, where we need to get some rain, most of it just to the south, watching that New England, mid-Atlantic. There's some of the rain here. And here's that new system working in uh, the Bahamas. We're still dealing with some of that moisture, heavier rain at times, as I mentioned in Cuba. And then as we work our way into Tuesday, this area kind of wiggles its way back toward Bermuda, additional rain, high seas, and we'll continue with the gusty winds and watching this system 
over here. Very active pattern. But the C is no doubt a mess. Meters here, feet on the right hand side of your screen. Now the Caribbean and the Gulf, not as bad. It's the Atlantic waters. Just want to take you, just show you the brighter colors. This is Monday, but take it deep into the upcoming week. The Atlantic waters are going to stay a mess with these systems out there. The front's kind of coming off. And then we'll be watching the Atlantic waters deeper into the week for what is coming off the coast of Africa for that area that we'll be watching. But heads up, Atlantic waters, the coastline's facing uh, the Atlantic side, watching out for some of those dangerous seas. But you see some of this rain, look at that. Central Bahamas in particular, will have some spots over 100 millimeters of rain. Some additional flooding will be possible. We've been highlighting uh, Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. We zoomed down just a few minutes ago. Again, watching out for some additional rain. The flood threat, Central and Eastern Cuba, watching that Jamaica and the Cayman Islands for us. A little bit more spotty as we work our way through Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Not as much in the Turks and Caicos. And kind of hit or miss as we kind of go around the Horn, Anguilla, Seba, Stacia, uh, and Agata back through uh, St. Croix, watching Montserrat, Guadalupe, St. Kitts and Nevis. Most of the total's not too high. It's not to say we're not going to get a few showers and storms. Uh, St. Vincent, for example, Barbados, St. Lucia, we'll get a few, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, but again, all eyes will be on what's going on off to the east northern sections of Guyana and uh, Venezuela, better chance of rain. But here are those huge pockets, Guatemala, El Salvador, back through Honduras, Nicaragua, right in through here again. Some spots, 20 centimeters of rain. I've been talking about this for days and days, weeks and weeks. This pattern is going to continue. Uh, Costa Rica, Panama, especially western Panama, central sections of Costa Rica, higher chance of rain, the flood threat, the mudslide threat, the dangerous rivers in through here in Central America. Got you covered watching that. And then the remnants of rain, and as expected, parts of Arizona, New Mexico, northwestern sections of Mexico. That's where we'll have some spots of eight inches of rain or 20 centimeters of rain right in through here. Parts of Arizona, extreme west Texas, and New Mexico will have some spots getting about an inch or two of rain, which could lead to some of that flash flooding. Might be a little bit more in spots. Bit settled in here, but we'll see how the season goes with these fronts passing by if they grab anything and lift it up uh, through the Gulf, which is what we've seen over the last uh, few years. So Jamaica, look Look at our rain chance. It's on the high side, a 70% chance. Same thing as we work our way back through the Cayman Islands. That's why I mentioned those rain totals right away uh, with that potential of flooding. Trinidad and Tobago, we're looking at a 40 to 50% chance of some showers and storms. And while it's not widespread, if we get some, uh, we could get a thunderstorm or two packing a punch. Barbados, 30 to 40% chance. The next two days in St. Lucia, isolated showers possible. Some of us just simply stay dry while others get a few passing showers, 30% chance today in Grenada. The next two days, St. Vincent the Grenadines isolated as well. Passing shower possible, 30% chance as we swing through today in Martinique. Rain chance 40% today in Dominica and a 30% chance for tomorrow. In the next two days in Guadalupe, the rain chance at about 40%. Antigua, Barbuda, 40% chance today and a 30% chance tomorrow. And that includes St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Watching out for a few passing showers as the day goes on. Same thing in Guilla and St. Bart. Monday and Tuesday, rain chance at about 30%. 40% chance today, St. Martin, St. Stacia, and a 30% chance for tomorrow. We swing back through Puerto Rico, holding at about a 40% chance, watching out for a couple thunderstorms, and a 30% chance back through the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Bahamas, again, mainly central section, central islands, really heavy rain. I was just showing you some of those uh, rain totals. Turks and Caicos, meanwhile, 30% chance. In the next two days, across the Dominican Republic, about a 40% chance. Higher those, we get back through Haiti, watching the rivers, watching the flooding. The next two days, a 50% chance. Belize, we're going to see our rain chance starting to creep up somewhat as we work our way into the upcoming week. I'll be watching that over toward Ladyville, Hopkins, Belize City, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. We've had some showers around. We're going to monitor that over the next two days. One of the driest spots we've had this season. So I'll be watching out for your comments in the ABC Islands. Northern Guyana, better chance of rain. We're mainly dry as we work our way into Surinam. Can't rule out a straight chance of a shower. Scattered areas of rain in Cuba, but heaviest of which eastern sections watching out for some flooding. Meanwhile, Costa Rica and Panama, we talked about the totals. The beat goes on. We see that as well as we work our way from Nicaragua back through parts of Honduras where we get it. It is going to be really heavy with that flood potential. Guatemala, El Salvador, it stays. An 80% chance is going to continue into the upcoming week. We are thinking of you if you're dealing with that flooding. 30% chance around Mexico City and a 30% chance uh, 
the next couple of days, Yucatan Peninsula, 50 to 60% chance northern Colombia. Again, northern and northeastern sections of Venezuela, better chance of rain. And then you see with that system near the northeast of the U.S. moving closer by Tuesday, Bermuda, the rain chance, it's going to be higher. We're going to be up to 70% chance. So a lot going on. We have those areas of heavier rain highlighting the flooding, watching Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, Haiti, Central America, that large East Coast storm system that'll be moving closer to Bermuda. And then those two strong tropical waves. First one doesn't look like a problem. The second one, that is the one we will be tracking. So again, thank you for subscribing. Be safe if you're dealing with some of the rain. I'll be going through your comments all day long. Hope you're doing well. Have a good rest of your day.